we recently released our leather inserts and we've been getting a lot of questions about all the different types of inserts and what makes one better or different. And I'm going to give you a very quick, hopefully quick overview of all the different types of inserts. So the black inserts are made out of a uh, rubberized, um, like a rubbery material and they all of our inserts were specifically designed to um, combat the tooth wear issue that we have seen in some of our muzzle users and that typically happens because dirt or sand become embedded in the plastic of the muzzle because the plastic was designed to be softer than a horse's teeth so it didn't cause tooth wear but because of that um, dirt and sand in certain conditions can actually get stuck in the plastic itself and then that creates a sandpaper like effect. So um, both of these inserts we have uh, anecdotal evidence of you know the horses that have been using it um, so far that it has not been able to hold on to that dirt and sand and so far it has basically halted tooth wear in its tracks which is great. Um, I've used both of these on my personal horse. My personal horse had a little bit of tooth wear and that's why um, we started developing these leather inserts here in the US. Um, the thing that I love about the leather is that when it gets wet from their saliva, it becomes really nice and slippery. And so that's part of how it helps protect their teeth. Um, the rubber as well, um, it's, it's soft enough, but not, not soft like the, um, like the plastic of the muzzle where it can get things embedded in it because I think it just kind of squishes in and then falls off. So, you know, I honestly, I don't really have an opinion of which one is better. For me, it's more about the size muzzle that you have and then how much you want to restrict their grasp. The rubber insert is made in Germany and those are available through your local um, dealer. Um, if you're outside of the US and your dealer does not carry these, these are available worldwide um, through our US website. So hopefully that clears some of that up. So basically the rubber insert comes in pony size and horse size and the leather comes in mini and horse size. So when choosing an insert, the size muzzle that you have might be the first thing that you look at. Um, this is actually the insert that goes in the mini muzzle and it fits like this. This is what it looks like. However, this can actually fit in the pony muzzle and the horse muzzle as well with a little bit of modification. Um, you can see it fits right in there. This is the pony size muzzle. So if you're outside of the US um, and you aren't able to get the pony size insert um, in the rubber, you might try um, getting the mini and this is it in the horse size. Um, and we actually do have a horse size in the leather. But if you have an older style muzzle that doesn't have these slots on the sides and the front, this might be a good option for you. Um, and to keep it in place, you would just zip tie around the corners, really similar to how it's done in the mini muzzle. So this is the horse size muzzle in the leather insert. And it has these little tabs um, and it zip ties right in and fits really nicely. Um, it's pretty easy to install. And the leather insert, it actually restricts grass um, a little bit more than the regular insert and a little bit less than the diet insert. So I'm going to flip this around and kind of hold it up so you can see that the leather um, covers that middle section a lot more than um, the regular insert does. And so it blocks off maybe a third more. Um, so if you kind of want something in between the diet insert and the regular insert, this might be a great option for you. Um, and that holds true with the mini. I'll hold, show that. I, I kind of got it off center when I, I installed this one, but you can see that it restricts a little bit more, especially right there in the center, which is where they tend to graze the most. So 
that's kind of the overview of our insert. So next, the rubber inserts come in two different types. Um, so there's the diet insert, which restricts grass about 50% more than the muzzle as is. And then we actually have the regular insert. And this is the exact same footprint as the muzzle itself. So it doesn't make the holes any bigger or any smaller. It's exactly as is. And this one is more for if you're wanting to protect your horse's teeth or um, we've actually kind of an added bonus of these is it actually protects your muzzle as well. So some horses can create little tooth marks and bites um, marks on the bottom of their muzzle, again, because it's created to be a little softer than their teeth. And these inserts will protect the bottom of your grazing muzzle from getting chewed up or chewed through. Um, and it can actually prolong the life of your grazing muzzle, which is a really cool side effect that we're very excited about. Um, so your two options with the pony or horse size rubber inserts are your diet and your regular. The one thing I will say with the diet insert is because it is so aggressive, um, so much more aggressively small than the holes as is, I recommend making sure that your horse can graze in the muzzle as it is before putting this in. And then also make sure you observe them, make sure they can still get some grass. Um, because most horses, unless there's some medical issue, need to still be able to get some grass through their muzzle. Um, we don't want them to just shut down and pout in a corner and then find themselves with some type of digestive issue because they've you know, been starved for a couple hours. So definitely observe them and make sure that they can graze through this. And the other thing to note is that when you add the insert, um, the diet insert in particular is quite a bit thicker. Um, then the other ones are a little bit narrower, but it does give your horse another quarter of an inch almost away from the grass. So if where they're grazing is only super short stubbly grass, they might have an extra challenging time getting grass up through the muzzle. And so that's something to take into consideration when deciding um, whether or not it's time to use an insert or which insert to use. You want to make sure that they are able to get some grass um, but that's also part of the reason I really love these is it keeps them from getting the super short, really tender stems, which tend to be the most sugary. Um, and it only allows them to be able to get some of the more mature grass, which is usually better for them anyway. As far as which one's better, because we get that question a lot, I've used both on my horse. Um, the rubber inserts have been out for not quite a year and we've really gotten great feedback on them. People love them. Um, they, they do their job and for the most part, they've been very durable. The ones that I have used have lasted pretty much the whole grazing season without showing a whole lot of wear. Every horse is a little different. Some horses are super chewers and you know, we, we do have some testers that have been helping us test that have been more aggressive grazers that will actually chew through a muzzle within a month. And those horses are, um, the inserts aren't lasting as long for them, but they are protecting their muzzle that they have. So that's really helpful. Um, for my horses, I feel like the rubber insert was a little more durable than the leather, but on one of our super chewers, um, the leather actually lasted longer than the rubber. So. Honestly, it kind of depends on the horse. Um, some horses have had a little bit of an aversion to the smell of the rubber, um, but they get used to it pretty quickly, so that hasn't really been too big of a deal. So something that I really love to do is I actually like to use the different inserts to kind of taper muzzle use on and off for my horses. So um, right now, before the spring grass is getting too um, is growing too much and before it gets to be where it's like very high sugar grass, um, I'm using a regular insert and as the spring grass starts to come in a little bit more, then I'll probably switch to the leather insert. And then when, um, it gets here in Kentucky, usually like end of April, um, May is when the grass is 
really rich and really full and that's when my young horse just kind of blows up like a tick so that's when I would employ the diet insert and then I usually leave that on him until um, I notice that he starts to maintain or even drop weight and then I would kind of go back down the line but you can use these um, you know, to taper on and off use of your muzzle in any way that you need to. I do recommend consulting with a vet or a nutritionist to make sure that you're doing it in a way that's safe and healthy for your horse. Hopefully this has answered all of your insert questions. If not, let us know and I will do another video. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited that we have all these options for all the different horses out there. And we just really want to be here to serve your needs. And if there's a need that we haven't met yet, um, check back because we're always coming up with new ideas and new products to help serve you guys. So happy grazing. And I hope that your horse loves these, even though they might be more restrictive. <laughs>